All right. I'm so glad you all are here again today. Now, I met with you all on Tuesday. If you're new here, there's a lot of new people. My name is Mrs. Collum, and I'll be your teacher for these live lessons. We are wrapping up week one, and this is for six weeks. So I get five more weeks with you, and you're going to be writing a full essay before six weeks is over. And it's going to be the easiest essay you've ever written. And so I'm going to keep it really simple for you. But this is something that you're going to be able to use forever. So I know you guys are in fourth and fifth grade, but sometimes I go to high schools and the kids don't even know how to write an essay. So you're going to be doing more than some high schoolers. But once you learn how to write an essay, you're going to be able to do this in elementary school, middle school, high school and college. This is something you're going to use for a long, long, long time. Um, and I'm going to show you an easy peasy way to write. OK. Now, last week, we talked about different prompts, and we talked about um, before we write an essay, let me go to my document camera. I want to write this out for you. These are kind of the steps um, to writing an essay. Okay, so step one is you have to read the prompt. Because the prompt tells you it, it's the directions that tells you what to write about after you read the prompt you're going to plan that's what we did on tuesday and then after you do that then you actually write the essay okay so i've taught you these two already and today we're working on writing the essay but i do want to review the prompt and plan part real quick with you so let's look at this example here cover up and get another piece of paper here. I don't want you guys to get confused. All right, so here's an example of a prompt. We all have someone special in our lives. Think about someone special in your life. Now explain why this person is so special. Now, we can see the keyword is explain. Anytime you see the keyword explain, you know you are writing an expository essay. OK, now for the next six weeks, we are working on expository only. There are other types of writing. There are narrative essays, which are like stories. There are opinion and argumentative essays where you write about your opinion about something. But for these six weeks, we're working on expository. The good thing is, is that what you learn in expository, you're going to use in all the other types of essays, too. But just so you know, we're always looking to see what type of essay we have to write. And if you see the word explain, that's the key word so you know you're writing an expository essay. Now, expository just means to explain something. So this prompt here is talking about a special person in our life. So all we have to do is explain in our essay about the special person in our life. If it said write about your favorite subject, explain why that subject is your favorite, you would just pick your favorite subject and explain why that's your favorite subject. So expository is just explaining. All right. So Let's look at another one. Everyone has a favorite place. Think about your favorite place. Now explain why this favorite, why this place is your favorite. Obviously, the keyword is explain again. We know that we're writing an expository. And we know that we have to pick a favorite place and then give three reasons explaining why it's our favorite. So you see how this prompt, these are the prompts, are telling us exactly what to write about. These are the directions. This is why you have to start. Step one is reading the prompt. Because you can't start planning and writing an essay unless you know exactly what you're supposed to be writing about. Let's look at this one. Everyone has a favorite animal. Think about your favorite animal. Now explain why this animal is your favorite. Again, we see the keyword is explain. And the prompt is telling us to write about our favorite animal. So we have to pick our favorite animal and, and explain in our essay why that animal is our favorite. Okay, so it's pretty easy, but you got to read the prompt to know exactly what you're going to be writing about. Now, second step is planning. Remember, I taught you with planning to do an IRC outline. So I'm going to draw a really quick one. I like to show you because I don't want your your IRC outlines to be super perfect because this is just planning, it's just your notes. So really quickly, I'm gonna do IR1, R2, R3, C, and then I put an A and a B next to each R. Woo, that was fast. I think I did that like in seven seconds or less. All right, 
the reason I did it like that is because I don't want you guys to sit there and draw perfect lines and move slow. This is just planning. Planning is like your brainstorming notes. You just put one or two words on each line. Don't write sentences. Save your sentences for the essay. This is just kind of taking your thoughts and putting them on a quick planning sheet. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Now, whatever the prompt is, you are going to put your central idea, okay, or your main topic on the I and the C line. So let's just say we are talking about our favorite animal. Everyone has a favorite animal. Think about your favorite animal. Now explain why this animal is your favorite. Now, let's say I pick for my favorite animal, I'm gonna pick my goats. I don't know if you guys were here on Tuesday, but I have a lot of animals. I have a pig, goats, tortoises, dog, cats. But I my, I picked my dog last time, but I picked my goats today, okay? Tell you something a little bit different. So whatever I pick, whatever my central idea is, okay? My main topic, I write on the I and the C line. So I'm gonna pick goat as my favorite animal. So whatever you pick, you write on the I and the C line. If I was writing about my favorite time of year and I picked summer, I'd write summer, summer. If I was writing about my favorite subject and I picked writing, I'd put writing, writing. Whatever you pick as your central idea, okay, that main topic you're gonna be talking about, you put on the I and the C line. So for favorite animal, I picked a goat. So I put goat and goat. Now, I got to fill this out. I got to come up with three reasons that I'm going to explain to my, in my essay to my reader about why goats are my favorite animal, okay? So the first thing I'll say about goats is that they are very playful, okay? That's one reason why I like them. The other reason I like them is they literally like eat anything. And it's funny because they're always trying to eat my hair or my shirt or anything that I leave on the ground. They eat anything. And the third reason I like goats is because you can train them. I can walk mine on a leash. So it is kind of cool. So now that I have my three reasons of why I like goats, now I have to do my A's and B's. Now, remember, I only do A's and B's next to the R's. I don't have an A and B next to I or C. It's just next to my reasons. And all my A's and B's are, they're called subtopics. It's kind of a fancy word though. It's just two things, two examples that you wanna talk about your reason. So if I wanted to write two things about goats being playful, the first thing I write about is that they literally jump on everything. Okay, they, they jump on top of the doghouse, they jump on top of pieces of wood, they're just always jumping around. And the other way that play that they're playful is they always run around, like they think that they're playing tag or something. So these, my A and B are two things about goats being playful. So when I get to this paragraph in my essay, I know I'm going to say that I like goats because they're playful, but I'm not going to stop there because that's just one sentence. I'm going to talk about how they jump around and then I'm going to talk about how they run all over. So that's going to make my paragraph bigger, right? And I'm not going to say, oh man, I don't know what to write about. I know exactly what to write about in this paragraph. I'm going to talk about goats are playful and then I'm going to talk about how they jump and how they run. For eating, okay, they're crazy. They try to eat my clothes when I'm out there feeding them and they eat anything. So I'm going to talk about like stuff. I, if a, a soda can falls on the ground, they try to eat that. If a, a piece of paper falls on the ground, they try to eat that. So I'm going to talk about that in my essay. So when I get to this paragraph, I know I'm going to talk about how goats eat a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to talk about how they eat clothes. And I'm going to talk about how they eat anything that falls on the ground. So I have, I'm going to have a big paragraph because I know exactly what I'm writing about. And then in my third paragraph, I'm going to talk about how you can train goats. Okay, so I got to come up with two things about training goats that I can talk about. So first, I'm going to talk about how you can train them to walk on a leash. 
And then I'm going to talk about how you can train them for their feeding time. So basically, like they know where they eat and they know where to go. So you can see that my A's and B's are two things about my reasons. Okay, so two things about playful, two things about eat, two things about train. That's all it is. Now, I did this in the last on Tuesday for you, but I like doing this because I always say that your planning is your roadmap. It tells you exactly what to write about. And I put all of these in five different colors so you can see this is your five paragraph essay. The green box is your first paragraph where you're going to write an introduction about goats being your favorite animal. The orange box is your second paragraph. The blue box is your third paragraph. The pink box is your fourth paragraph. And the yellow box is your fifth paragraph. Now, I do want to point out, R1, even though it says R1, it's your second paragraph. So don't get confused by that. And R2, your reason two, is your third paragraph. So even though it's two, it's still your third paragraph. Now you know exactly what to write about in each paragraph. When I get to this paragraph, R1, I'm not going to have to sit here and think, oh, I don't know what to write about goats being playful. Hmm. No, I know exactly what to write about. They're playful. I can write a few sentences about how they jump, how they jump sideways, how they jump on the dog houses. Then I can write a few sentences about how they run around like crazy people or crazy animals. Okay, so I know I can write a lot about that. And I know when I to go to this paragraph and I'm talking about what they can eat, I'm going to talk about how they eat clothes when I'm in there. They try to get my shirt. Sometimes they eat the bottom of my pants. I'm going to talk about how they eat anything that falls on the floor. And I'm going to talk about if you drop a soda can or a piece of paper. So I know everything I'm going to write about. This is your road map. Okay, now, if you weren't here on Tuesday, I went over this in detail how to plan. So you can go back and watch that recording. But today, we are talking about this paragraph, the I paragraph. Now, I'm going to teach you how to write all five of these, okay? Every time we meet, I'm going to be working on these. But today, we're working on the I paragraph, okay? So let's get started. Now, you can just watch for this. I'll have you writing at the end, but I really just want you to make sure you're paying attention because I'm going to show you a few examples, and then you're going to do on your own. The I paragraph is the introduction paragraph, okay? We just use I for short, but it's the introduction paragraph. It's the first paragraph of your whole essay, and it's only three sentences. It's a very easy paragraph. The first sentence is called a hook. The second sentence is called your three reason sentence. That's where you name your three reasons, which I'll show you how to do this. And your third sentence is called your closing sentence. So that's all your introduction is, is three sentences. And those are your three sentences. Now, some of you may have heard of a hook before. You may also have heard it called a grabber or an opener. They're all the same thing, but it's the first sentence of your whole essay, okay? Think of like a fishing hook where you, you know, you hook your fish and get them. You are using your hook to hook your reader and you want them to read your essay. So you're, it's, I compare it to a movie a lot because think about when you're watching a movie and the first like two minutes are really good. You get excited and you want to watch that movie. But sometimes you watch a movie and the first two minutes aren't good and you're like, ugh, I don't know if I want to watch this. Sometimes you turn it off. Think of this kind of like a movie where you want your first sentence to tell your reader what it's going to be about so they get excited and want to read it. All right, now, there's a bunch of ways to write a hook, but I'm just gonna show you three ways today, okay? Because I wanna keep this simple. So for a hook, you could do a question. You could just do a simple statement, just a sentence. Or you could do a riddle. Now, these are all about the topic. So you could do a question about goats being your favorite animal. You could do a statement about goats being your favorite animal or a riddle about goats being your favorite animal. So I just wanna show you some examples. Let's say I wanted to do, do a question about the topic about favorite animal. I could write, um, what is your favorite animal? That's a question about the topic, right? Or I could say, 
do you have a favorite animal? Those are two questions, right? So let me just, if you wanted to try a question hook, you could do that one or that one. If you wanna try a statement, that's just a simple sentence. You could do something simple like, um, goats are one of the best animals in the world. See how I just did a simple sentence? I know it's small, I'm gonna rewrite it big for you, but that's just a simple statement. Or I could do a little riddle, okay? I could say, what kind of animal jumps sideways and tries to eat paper? question mark, and then you tell the answer to the riddle, a goat. Okay, so those are all different types of hooks that you can do. Now, I'm just showing you different ways. You can keep it simple, don't overthink it. If you can't think of something, just make a question. We draw some lines here. So let's say that for today, I'm just going to use, um, I think I'm just gonna use the statement one. I'm just gonna use a simple statement as my hook. So I'm starting a paragraph, I have to indent. You have to leave a space here. Okay, usually it's the size of your thumb if you wanna measure it, leave a space. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna my hook is just gonna be a simple statement about the topic. Goats are one of the best animals in the world, period. All right, so let's say our hook is gonna be an orange. I'm gonna highlight orange so you can see. I'm done with my hook, that's the first sentence. Now, my second sentence is where I name my three reasons. Remember, my three reasons are, look over here, playful, eat, and train. I'm not talking about my A's and B's, just my three reasons. So I'm gonna say, they, are playful, comma, my next one is eat, they like to eat, comma, and my next one is train, and you can train them, period. Okay, so I have to name my three reasons. Let's see, did I name playful? They are playful, yep, I got playful. Did I name eat? They like to eat, yep, I got eat. Did I name train? And you can train them, yep, I got train. Okay, I named my three reasons. So I'm gonna put this, my three reason sentence in yellow. Now I want you to notice, an easy way to do this is after the first two reasons, put a comma. They are playful, comma. They like to eat, comma. And, and then you put your third reason. And my last sentence is called my closing. And all you have to do for closing is just say something nice about the topic. That's it, just say something nice. Okay, so I'm gonna say something nice about goats. I already said they're the best animals in the world. So I'm just gonna say, everyone should have a goat as a pet. That's my, my closing. So I'm gonna put that in pink and I'm done. That's my introduction paragraph. Three sentences, remember my hook, the hook is in orange right here. I just did a statement. Then my second sentence, I named my three reasons. They are playful, comma, they like to eat, comma, and you can train them, period. Then my closing, I just say something nice. Every, everyone should have a goat as a pet, done. Remember, I only indented here, okay? You only indent at the beginning of the paragraph, and then you just, you come back over to the side here. All right, I'm gonna move a little faster because of time, but I need to show you another example. Let's say that we're talking about, um, 
I'm going to use one that I used in another class. Let's say I'm, I'm talking about uh, summer is my favorite time of the year. Okay, let's say we're using summer is my favorite time of the year. Now, I'm going to write my introduction paragraph. I know that my introduction paragraph is three sentences, right? I know the first sentence is a hook. The second sentence is where I name my three reasons. And my third sentence is where I do my closing sentence. Okay, so I'm gonna draw some lines. Forgot my line paper today. All right, so let's start with the hook. I know my hook. Remember, it can be a question, just a simple statement or sentence about the topic or a riddle about the topic. So I think I'm gonna ask a question. Now the prompt is favorite time of the year. I wanted to show you this prompt here. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a question. I'm gonna indent, I'm gonna leave this little space here, okay? Cause I need to indent, I'm starting a paragraph. And I'm gonna say, do you have a favorite time of the year, question mark. Done, that's my hook. I'm gonna say my hook is in yellow for this one and I'm gonna highlight it, done, I did my hook. Did a simple question about the topic. Now I gotta name my three reasons. My three reasons are no school, beach and vacations. So I'm gonna say, cause I asked the question, I gotta answer it. Do you have favorite time of year? Mine is summer because what did you know school there is no school comma now beach you can go to the beach comma and then vacation and you can go on vacation period done i'm going to do my three reasons in green let's check did i put no school in this sentence minus summer because there's no school yep and then i put a comma did i put beach you can go to the beach yep i got beach and i put a comma good and now vacations and you can go on vacation done i named all three reasons not my A's and B's, just my three reasons in that sentence. And now I have to do a closing sentence. I'm going to do this in orange, where I just say something nice about the topic. And the topic is favorite place. I mean, favorite time of year is summer. So I'm just going to say, summer is the best ever. Oops, I'm supposed to do that in orange. I got my closing done. You can see I indented here, just at the beginning of the paragraph. That's it, okay? Introductions, those three sentences. And once you have your planning, you know exactly what you're writing about. All right, so I'm gonna leave you all um, with one to do on your own, okay? I want you to use this prompt here. Okay, everyone has a favorite place. Think about your favorite place. Now explain why this place is your favorite. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. You can do it today or later today, whether you're at home or at school, but this is your practice. I want you to do two things, actually three things. First, read the prompt. Second, plan for the essay. And then third, write the introduction. So get some lined paper. And just write the introduction paragraph, just the introduction paragraph, because that's all we, we learned today. We'll work on the other paragraphs next time. So just the introduction paragraph, and that's going to be your practice. Now, remember that your introduction paragraph needs to have hook, three reasons, and closing. And your hook can be a question statement or riddle. Also remember that you're going to get a copy of this recording. So if you um, forget 
what we talked about, you can go back and watch the recording of this video. Okay, that is going to be your assignment for today, okay? All right, I will see you all next Tuesday. Enjoy your weekend. Tuesday at nine, and then we're going to keep working on more of the essay. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Bye.